Hi, it's me again. Now, you know, on this channel, I try my best not to use bad language, but I don't know how to make this point without using a bad word. So I'm sorry, because the BBC made an announcement a couple of days ago, and it has stirred up a right shit storm, hasn't it? Now, I'm sure you all know the announcement, but I'll do the headline and then we'll talk about it as always. Let's have a look. So stupid. BBC blasted over plans to axe CBBC and BBC4 in the next three years. Yeah, slightly clickbaity headline from The Express there, but what do you expect from The Express, <laughs> really? And they're not actually getting rid of them. They're moving them to online only. And the BBC have announced a huge, huge wave of cuts in the last few days. I'm going to do a video on each one, so keep watching. But this one, moving CBBC and BBC4 to online. I do not understand the BBC4 bit. I do not understand it. Like BBC4 is mostly watched by the older crowd, the over 40s, that's their thing, right? BBC3, which was an online channel, watched mostly by 16 to 24 year olds, who love watching stuff on the internet, became a proper channel, which oldies like doing, and the oldies channel is going onto the internet, which the kids like doing. How does that make any sense to you? At great expense, the BBC bought back to the TV screens, like on broadcast networks, BBC3. A great expense, it cost them a lot of money to do it. Why? Why? It's aiming for 16 to 24 year olds. They love streaming stuff. They love streaming stuff, don't they? It makes no sense, it makes no sense. The oldies aren't gonna go streaming BBC4 that much, but let's carry on. Mr. Davey said in a statement, I believe in a public service BBC for all. Properly funded, relevant for everybody. Universally available and growing in the on-demand age. This plan sets us on that journey. This is our moment. This is my moment. This is our moment to build a digital first BBC, something genuinely new, a Raytheon organization for the digital age, a positive force for the UK and the world. And it just doesn't make a lot of sense. If you're going to go online only, just go online only. Full stop. But this way you've done it just it, it just shows the wrong think that goes on. They just can't think a plan through at the BBC, can they? They wanna move to a digital first strategy where everything's gonna be online, all your BBC service that you access are online. Right, that's what they want. So why spend all that money bringing BBC Three back to broadcast? BBC Three was the perfect one to make digital only because it was aimed at the 16 to 24s and they like streaming stuff. Yeah, I don't have a big problem with CBBC being online only. It should be broadcast. Of course it should be broadcast, you know, as it stands at the minute. But yeah, that kind of makes a lot of sense and they can start doing YouTube deals and maybe have some ads in it and stuff like that. You know, because you see a lot of kids now, kids don't watch a lot of telly anymore. You know, I've got family that have little people, kids, don't have any myself, don't want one. And they're never off their iPads. No, I don't, you know what I mean. They, they use iPads a lot. They don't really watch the big telly in the corner of the room, do they? That's for the adults. The kids have an iPad and some earphones in, or they're pissing about on the parents' phone, something. So CBBC, fair dues, fair dues. But I just don't understand why knocking BBC4 off, where the oldies might struggle to access it who like that sort of thing, and bringing BBC3 to the main tellies, where the kids like streaming anyway. It, it, it doesn't make any sense to me. It just, it's wasteful and it's pointless and they've put many hours of work into it that you paid for with your TV license fees for no reason. No reason at all. It's weird, isn't it? So what do you think about this? Because like in many ways, it is a positive. The BBC are moving towards being an online only service and that's what we want. That's what we want because then there's no telly tax, right? So it is a positive. But the way they go about it is just all over the shop. They've wasted many, many, many hours of paid work getting this up. Loads of money in the fees to get everything set up to do it backwards. That's my problem with it. That's my problem with it. The fact that they're moving to online is good. It's a positive. You know, credit where it's due. I do give credit where it's due. But the way they've done it is just backwards and they're just not thinking things through. And this comes from the top. This comes from Tim. Tim makes the calls, doesn't he? And if Tim is getting advice from people who are giving him the wrong advice, then he needs to get new advisors and new managers in, doesn't he? Because it's all over the shop. But let me know what you think about this 
down in the comments below. And thanks for watching and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you do that, maybe, maybe I'll get to see you in another video again soon. Ta-da.